Ottawa Hills High School in Grand Rapids has unveiled its new state-of-the-art recording studio. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how the program teaches music production and a lot more. The studio is filled with professional equipment just like the recording industry uses. Inside this classroom could be the next generation of music professionals. You can customize what sound you want to make on the beat and you can play around with it and see which one you really like. There's so many types of music we learn about and like you can make, you can actually make all of them on just the computer. So I just love music so much and I like to sing and dance so much and I want to learn more about music and how it's made. Ottawa Hills High School's new music production and entrepreneurship class teaches students about the industry and opportunities to turn a passion into a career. You can hear where it's supposed to be. Lucius B. Hoskins is an award-winning musician, songwriter, and music producer who's worked with big names in the industry like Jill Scott. I'm born and raised here. This is actually my alma mater. So, um, you know, I, I was ecstatic to have the opportunity to bring it home. You see how it shifted? Everything yeah. shifted. A 1997 graduate of Ottawa Hills High School, Hoskins Company sets up recording studios and curriculum to help expand music education in schools. This is a state-of-the-art um, recording studio. Uh, some of the stuff that they have in here is the same stuff that they have in uh, one of the big studios in L.A. or New York or Miami. Um, this is the stuff that I'm working on on an everyday basis. Um, I've created um, big records on the same equipment that they're using. The program will grow in the coming years as additional classes are added. Hoskins hopes the program leaves a lasting impact on every student, lessons of the industry he learned the hard way. The third year of the curriculum, they get music business, and so they learn publishing, they learn copyright and how to own their masters, and so um, they won't be taken advantage of. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.